So let's look at another example. So here we have a, a machine that produces acceptable products 70% of the time. Uh, a team uses the machine to produce two items. We want to find the probability that none of the items is acceptable. Exactly one of the items is acceptable and both items are acceptable. And then we assume independence. Now let me go ahead and uh, first denote. So let A denote an acceptable product. And then let D denote an, a, defect, a, a defective uh, product. Okay. So then I'm not going to go through the, uh, the details. You should be able to verify that this is indeed a binomial uh, experiment. Okay. And for that reason, if success is defined as getting an acceptable product right. then the variable x which denotes the number of successes In other words, um, the number of acceptable products from we, we, we get in this experiment right. is so X is a uh, binomial random variable okay so now what do we know from this problem so we know that this is a, a binomial experiment with n equals two trials the probability of success is 70%, which is uh, equal to 0.7. And so we want to find the probability that x is 0, the probability that x is 1, and then the probability that x is 2. Okay. Now, at this, at this point, there are two ways to proceed. You can either punch these numbers into... Um, a calculator using the binomial probability uh, function formula or we can use the binomial table I'm gonna use the table to show you how we can find probability with the table but if you want to use a formula that's fine with me too so we want to go to the table go to the part of the table where n is equal to 2 so we are right about here right? we want to look under column point 7 which is this column and so these are the uh, values that we want so for 0 the probability that x is 0 is 0 0.09 the probability that x is 1 is 0.42 and then the probability that x is 2 is 0.49 so we can go back and answer the uh, the, the, the question so this is 0.09 this is 0.42 and then this is 0.49 now let me go a step further. Let me uh, put this information into, into a table. So I have a table with x, 0, 1, and 2. Right? 
let me uh, have a column uh, called composition. So when we have uh, when x is equal to zero, that means that we have no acceptable products, and that means we have two defective products, right? So here we have two d's. When x is equal to one, we have one a and one d, and then when x is equal to two, we have two a's. And then let's fill in the probability. So this is 0 0.09, 0 0.42, and then 0 0.49. So nothing fancy here. I just lit literally put the uh, the information from the line above into uh, into a table. So now let's think about the following situation. What if I define success as getting a defective product? So what if success is equal to getting a defective Product. Okay. Now you may be wondering why this is really counterintuitive, right? Why is success getting a, a defective product? And my response to that is, why not? Okay. So think of um, the following uh, example. Suppose you you flip a coin. When you flip a coin, you have two possible outcomes. You either get, get a head or you get a tail, right? So when you flip a coin, you, you can define success as either getting a head or getting a tail, right? There's not a rule that says you have to define success one way or the other, right? So success can be either head or tail right there's not a rule that says you have to be there's not a rule that says success has to be a head or success has to be a tail right so same thing with our same thing with our problem here right so if i define success as getting a defective product then the variable I'm gonna I'm gonna call it uh, the variable y, which denotes the number of successes i e the uh, number of defective products. is also a binomial variable. Okay. So now, uh, what do we know? We know that this is an experiment with two trials, so n is still equal to 2, but what is the probability of success? Remember that the machine produces a acceptable products 70% of the time. And so that means that it produces defective products 30% of the time, right? So the probability of success here is going to be 1 minus 0 0.7, which is going to be 0 0.3. Right? And so we're interested in the probability that y is equal to 0, the probability that y is equal to 1, and then the probability that y is equal to 2. Okay. Let me put this on the uh, in, in the table. Right, so y here I have 0, 1, and 2. 
Uh, let me have the composition column. Now, when I have zero um, defective products, that means that I have two acceptable products. Right? So here we have two A's. If I have one defective product, that mean I ha that that means I have um, one D and one A, and then when I have um, two defective products, then I have two Ds. Right? So now, uh, to find probabilities, let's use the table again. So when you go to the table, you still want to look at the part of the table where n is equal to 2. But now you want to look at column 0.3, right? Because the probability of success now is 0.3. So these are the, uh, the values of interest, 0 0.49, 0 0.42, and 0.09. So this is point four nine, this is point four two, and this is point oh nine. Okay, so I'm gonna so for this table we have success being getting a defective product okay. and let me um, let me bring the previous table over here so I have x 0 1 and 2 I have composition and then probability right so I have two D's one A and one D and then two A's right? and my probabilities from before was 0 0.09 0 0.42 and then 0.49 Okay. And then over here I have success as getting an acceptable product okay. so in a sense right these two tables are just mirror images of one another right and so the idea here is that when you construct the probability distribution of a binomial random variable it is very important that you pay close attention to how a success is defined. Okay. So, need to pay close attention to how a success is defined okay. once you define what a success is make sure you stick to it and uh, use the appropriate probability of success so in this video we uh, we did an example where we uh, apply the um, table the table to come uh, to compute probabilities for uh, a binomial random variable